Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rustic Wife of Milana. This week is week number one of the Three Rivers Homestead Pantry Challenge that I'm doing. And I'm really excited to save money at the grocery store and use up what I've got on my pantry shelves and the root cellar and the freezers and just trying to make do with what we've got. So if you followed along with Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead before, you'll know that she does a pantry challenge every January, January 1st. And she uses up what she's got. She's got so many things in her, on her pantry shelves and in her freezers. And she is a family of 10. She just had a little baby girl about three weeks ago. Jessica also states that anyone can join and that there are no rules. So that's pretty good because my family is a family of three versus her family of 10. So our needs will be different. Um, I know they're dairy free and we do have dairy. So the rules I've set up for us is that I am gonna go to the grocery store once a week, have a budget of $50 to spend on dairy and fresh fruit and vegetables. And I'm gonna to try to stick to that and use what I've got. So what I'm going to do is I won't be updating every single day. I'm going to be updating weekly and just do a recap of what we eat throughout the week and then I will show you my grocery store trip and how much I spent and what I got and then like I said I'll post once a week. So thanks a lot for joining me and we will start with week number one. It's January 2nd and I am on day two of the Three Rivers Homestead Pantry Challenge so yesterday I didn't need to make supper because I went to my in-laws for um, New Year's Day dinner. So that was good. Um, today I made some spaghetti sauce out of some venison that we had taken out two days ago. So I wanted to use it up. So this is what we'll have tonight. And um, there was some leeks in there, and, uh, garlic from the garden. I used some of our tomatoes and a jar of pasta sauce that I had down in the cupboard. So that is for tonight's dinner. I also have some mixed greens here. I need to use those up because I got them for 50% off. So they've been nice and fresh tasting so far. And so we'll have spaghetti and salad. I was organizing the freezer. I found some of these ciabatta buns here and I wanted to get those used up. So I'm going to make breadcrumbs from those. I'm gonna cut them up and then I'm gonna put them in the oven at 250 for about 10 minutes until they're dried out. And then I'll blend them up in the blender and then we've got breadcrumbs. So I'm using things up. Day three of the pantry challenge, I took a chicken out of the freezer and then I stuffed it with some leeks and some garlic and I had some fresh ginger that I put in there as well, some salt and pepper. So we will have chicken tonight. I'm just in from work. It is 5.30 January 5th and I'm just gonna make something to eat for supper with roast chicken leftover that we have in the refrigerator. So um, we've had pasta twice this week some leftover spaghetti, so I'm gonna cook it with some rice. And I think I've got a mushroom soup in the cupboard from when we had that storm. I stocked up on some soup. I've been eating that for lunch and when I take that to work. And I'm gonna use a mushroom soup, just kind of do like a mushroom chicken casserole with some broccoli. So that should be good. And I am snacking on potato chips right now. I forgot to show you my chip cupboard when I did my pantry tour. So I'm eating some jalapeno cheddar chips and I dip them in sour cream. Have you ever done that? I love it with barbecue, but this is good. These chips are kind of stale actually. Even though they're stale, I'm gonna eat them. No waste, right? So that's my chip cupboard. We have two bags of chips, probably some crumbs left over in there. And my family likes to open all the bags of chips at the same time instead of finishing one <laughs> and opening the other later. But anyway, that's what we have left for potato chips plus the ones I was just eating. So I've got some chicken here. I also have some broth that I want to use up, so I'll cook the rice in that. Some carrot, I'll shred that in there. And a broccoli. And you know what, I made pizza the other day and there's some mushroom and chopped ham left over from that. I'll throw that in my casserole too. So I'm just gonna make this up as I go along, really. I don't, I probably won't use the mushroom soup. I'll save that for Maybe some scallop potatoes, because my mom used to make hers with that with a mushroom soup. It was always good. So anyway, I've got a cup of basmati rice here, and I've rinsed it. And then I'm just going to add this leftover broth, cook that rice, 
and then I'll probably just make up kind of like a cream sauce with chicken and broccoli and then serve it over top of rice instead of making a casserole. So hopefully it'll be good. I'll let you know if it is. Like again, just flying by the seat of my pants here. So I got a cup of rice, two cups of broth. And I just had some full broth. We'll just have a combination of flavors here. So I'll get that on the stove top. I have some garlic and some fresh ginger and some leeks. I'm sauteing this in a bit of butter and olive oil. I had the pan too hot, my garlic got a little brown, but that's right. I was gonna shred the carrot, but I just chopped it up. So I cut up one chicken breast from that roast chicken that I did the other night. It was a big bird. I have a quarter cup of flour. I'm just gonna make, to thicken this. Usually I make a roux without the vegetables in here, but I'm just gonna do it all at once. And I have another carton of stock that I want to use up. And even though I'm using chicken and ham, I'm using beef. It's going to be like a whole mishmash. Okay, that's starting to thicken. And I'm going to I'm going to add my chicken and the broccoli. Stir that around. And then I'm going to add a bit of cream to this. Got some half and half cream. I'll maybe do a cup. So I'm just gonna put the lid on and let that broccoli cook a little bit. I don't like it really mushy, but not super crunchy either. So just let that cook a just for a little bit. So that's looks pretty good. And it's 20 after six, so that wasn't too long. And then I've got some rice here. So we'll put rice in the bottom and serve this this on top. So we're ready to eat now and I'm going to take my jacket off. I didn't realize I still had this this on. But um, so tomorrow is the day that I can go grocery shopping. I don't think I'm going to need to. Maybe I'll just get milk. Um, I'm going to check out my inventory and see what I have. I think I'm pretty good. So maybe I won't need to. I can save that 50 bucks and stick it in the jar. So anyway, I'm going to go eat my supper. So I have Isabel's supper there ready for her and this is how much we had left over for lunches. Um, I loved it. James said it needed a little bit of salt but what's he know? I told him he could make his own next time. <laughs> next the local paper came and the flyers are here so I'm going to go through these tonight and like I said I just need milk but if there's something on sale like lettuce or butter for $2.99 or something ridiculous like that. I'm going to get some of that. But hopefully I'll just stick to getting milk. Friday night and I just got home from work and it is 10 to 6 and I did go to the grocery store for my weekly shop. I took 50 bucks and I ended up spending $13.98. I got a bag of milk and I got a thing of rice, spring mix. I also, I looked through the flyers and there really wasn't anything pressing that I needed. I checked out my food storage and this is all I really needed was the milk and wanted was the lettuce. So out of $50, this is what I have left. So the spring mix was seven bucks and the Kawartha Dairy Milk was $7 as well. And for supper tonight, I'm just gonna throw some of this in the oven. I have this in the freezer and I'm using up um, my <laughs> convenience meals, I guess. I'm using up these so we'll have, we'll have this and I'll make some tartar sauce along with it and then we're gonna have just a mixed green salad with um, some carrot and cucumber in it. And then I'm gonna make some chocolate pudding for dessert. So there's the salad. I also have the tartar sauce made up, just some mayonnaise and some of my homemade dill relish and just a little bit of mustard. Put that together. And then for the salad, we just drizzle this um, balsamic vinaigrette or balsamic vinegar over top. My brother and my sister-in-law got us that and that is so good. So we just put that on our salad. 
And then I have putting on the stove top here, the fish is in the oven. And then I have a little bit of um, whipped cream. You can see it's separated there. But I'm just gonna re-whip it and it's gonna be perfect for the pudding. There's our fish salad tartar sauce, got chocolate pudding there. And I added more cream to whip to that stuff that I was re-whipping. And I may need to eat more than one of these puddings. So this is supper tonight and Isabel's working again, so she'll eat hers later. Sunday morning and I have the waffle batter made. I've got the waffle iron heating up and James is whipping the cream. Sunday, January 8th, um, Isabel and I are just having a quick lunch of nachos and I have a little bit of ginger ale left over from New Year's Eve. Um, James already had something. I think he had some leftover brown beans and toast. So for supper tonight, I have a blade roast and I had a few ends of some carrots that I wanted to use up in the fridge and um, the end of a leek. So, the lid on and set it and forget it. To go along with the roast beef that I have in the crock pot, I went down to the pantry shelves and I grabbed a jar of pressure canned green beans. I also grabbed some carrots and potatoes out of the root cellar and I have some garlic and ginger chopped up. So I just chopped these carrots. I've got baked potatoes in the oven and I have a little bit of peach jam left over. So what I thought I would do is um, saute the garlic and the ginger and then cook the carrots. It's just a little bit of butter and then add a bit of water and then glaze them with peach jam. So that should be good. I also have another tender flake puff pastry and a couple of apples to use up. So I'm going to be making some apple turnovers for dessert too. So I've just rolled this puff pastry out, cut it into four. I peeled one apple and it's just chopped up with some brown sugar and flour, a bit of cinnamon and nutmeg. So this is our dinner tonight. It is some roast beef in the crock pot. I've got those glazed carrots, green beans, and this is a little bit of chili sauce that I made last year. These are the apple turnovers. You'll notice one's missing. James ate one already. Um, and I've made uh, vanilla glaze with some butter, icing sugar, and a bit of cream and some vanilla extract. So I'll just drizzle some of this over top and they'll be delicious.